a little faster. Come on, move it. Yeah. Oops. Check that out. We have another workout buddy over there. Hello. Hi. How are you all doing? We are doing totally fine. My name is Vasudha. That's Rajan and that's Shrita. And you are live on Kal with us. Why will we doing so many push-ups? Well, you will know it soon because today we will be doing an upper body workout. So are you all pumped up? Because we are, we are nicely warmed up as well. Okay, guys, remember to get your water bottle, your face towel next to you and switch on the energy meter so that you can track your progress. Are you ready? We are. Let's get started with our warm up for today. So let's get started with today's warm up. We have four movements and two rounds. Ready? Ready? Let's get started. Your warm up movement number one is spot jog with sprawl. So I would like to add that your warm up is like a mini workout today. Okay. So what you will be doing today is one, two, three, four. From there, jump or step back, and then again, one, two, three, four. If you are somebody who is new to working out, this is what you do today. One, two, three, four. From there, rest your hands on the floor, step back, and step forward. Okay, so guys, scaled up version will be done by Rajan. Scaled down version will be done by Srihita. And both of them are going to really push you through today's workout. Okay, so let's get started. 30 seconds of warm-up movement one, spot jog to sprawl. Get started now. Now you have two rounds. Remember to take it a little easy. Just understand the movement. See how it is going to be working for you today. Which version of it you would like to choose for today. And then in warm-up round two, you can really push yourself. All right, so keep exhaling. Focus on the way you are breathing and focus on the way your legs and body is feeling. Three more seconds and you can release it. Movement number two is beast hold, shoulder tap and rotation. This is what you do. A beast position is when your shoulder is above the wrist, hip above the knee. From there, bring your knees slightly off the floor and you will tap the opposite shoulder and then rotate. After that, Tap the shoulder and rotate. Clear? So that's a 30 second. Now this is a little challenging. So if you are new to this, what you can do is you don't have to get your knees off the floor. You can be here, tap and rotate or plank position, tap and rotate. Clear? So these are your options for today. Let's get started. 30 seconds. Choose your position and start now. Now, when you are rotating, focus a lot on the shoulders, how the shoulder is feeling. Make a very big circle with your hand. And in the meantime, the hand which is on the floor, press that palm down. Because the harder you press, the easier it will be in the pose and more stability you will find. Keep going. Just another three more seconds. And slowly release it. Come on. Movement number three is alternating step froggers. So that means plank position. Step right leg, left leg, lift, back, down. Change left leg, right leg, lift, back, down. Clear? So you don't have any scale down version. This is what your scale down version is. Come on, guys. Go. Yes, stay low, keep the knees pushed out, keep the heels pressed into the floor and you can jump forward or jump back to make it a little more challenging. Great. Chest up. Press the palms down. Fantastic. Keep going. Keep exhaling. And release it. Next one is bent over rows. For bent over rows, you, no, sorry, we have bent over rows with YTW. Now for YTW, could Rajan, you help me understand this? Drop down into your bent over position. That means a flat back, hips pushed towards the back. Now, get your thumb up, press up towards the ceiling with your thumbs. That becomes your Y. So as you press up, Y, bring the hand down. And then that's your T. Then bring your hand to the W. 
and then from there press forward and bring it back yes all right so that's your bent over YTW got that 30 seconds come on guys start now go easy go slow remember to press your hands your thumb up towards the ceiling and extend the arms now before you focus on your arm movement ensure to have a flat back remember you got to drive your hips towards the wall behind you knees are soft keep going five more seconds move it and relax are you aware of the workout four movements right let's get started let's bring in more numbers of rep with each spot jog to sprawl get started now now move those hands aggressively and give me about four to five jogs and then step or jump back into your sprawl enough of calming down with a workout it's time to really buck up so make sure that your warm-up is very well done and you are really moving and engaging those muscles we need them keep going come on fantastic job guys five more seconds move it give me one more rep and release it next one beast hold with shoulder tap and an arm rotation let's get started now Come on. So like you can see, Shriyata has done a little change in her movement. She has made it advanced by going into a plank position. So yes, you can also do the same. Feel free to advance the workout as long as you are able to maintain great technique. Keep moving. Like I said, keep your palm pressed into the floor because that will help you to maintain that balance. You have three more seconds and you can come out of the movement. Alternating step froggers. Ready? Come to the front of your mat into your plank position and get started now. Perfect. So jump or step forward. Remember, you got to hold the squat for a second before you release it. So hips in line with the knees, knees pushed out, heels pressed into the floor and chest up. Brilliant job, guys. Very, very good form both of you are giving and I'm highly impressed with my colleagues over here. Fantastic. Keep going. You have five more seconds. Last one is going to be your bent over YTW. So stand up, come into your bent over position, drive the hips back, chest up. Let's get started now. Now guys, if you feel very constant shoulder niggle or any pain in your shoulder, neck, then this movement is for you. You must do this movement every day as a part of your rehab, alright? Before you do any form of weight training, this should be a part of your warm-up. Fantastic job. Both of them have a good spine. I hope you all have the same as well. So drive your hips back, knees soft. Three seconds, two and one release it felt like a mini workout no i told you all yes okay so let's move to our main workout your main workout is divided into six part that means you have six tabata combos okay so let's start with the first one first one is quite basic very important you have the kneeling push-ups and then the superman up and down for kneeling push-ups you will get up into the plank position make sure that the chest is coming in between your palms i often see members being over here so chest in between your palms drop the knees down from there and bending the elbows drop down and extend the elbows no head movement no hip movement okay clear guys so that's your kneeling push-up superman up and down that means you will get your hands and legs over here so from here you will lift up both the hands and legs squeeze the glutes and then release it all right so you got that i'm just going to show you engage the hip muscles press the wall in front push the wall behind and release now if you are a new member you gotta keep your feet on the floor hands behind tighten the hip muscles lift your upper body and then release that so that's going to be your superman variation got that guys kneeling push-ups superman variations you have 20 seconds of work 
10 seconds of your transition. Let me not call it a break time. It's a transition phase and you'll be doing four rounds. So four minutes per combo. Clear? Are you clear? Let's get started. So both of you and you drop down on your knees. Kneeling push up. So Rajan, maybe from round number two, you can increase it if you want to. All right. And let's get started. 20 seconds of work. Now go. So guys, four rounds you have. First round, focus on the technique. Make sure the chest is in between your palms. You're really focusing on bending the elbow and dropping it down as much as possible. Three more seconds. And two, one, release it. Stand up quickly, sorry, lie down on your stomach quickly. Superman up and down, get into your position and you begin in three, two, one, go. So like I said, if you are an advanced athlete, Get your legs and feet or uh, your hands off the floor. If you are a scaled down athlete, then for today, you only focus on lifting your chest up. Squeeze the glutes, whether you're doing the advanced or the scaled down version, engage the hip muscles and release it. Come out. Kneeling push-ups, release it, release it. Kneeling push-ups, you get started in three, two, one, Drop now. So guys, very important is your head is all the time facing the front. You're not looking down at your knees. Keep going. Fantastic. Now, if you get comfortable with the movement, you can pace yourself up. Increase the number of reps in three, two, one. Let go. Lie down. So remember, it's just 20 seconds of work. You need to give your best effort. Okay. Get started in three, two, one. Come on, engage the hip muscles, really lift up, squeeze the glutes, press your toenails into the floor if your legs are on the floor. Keep going. We have five, sorry, five more seconds. Come on, lift your hands higher. Three, two, one. Release it. You've got two more rounds. It's time to buck up. Okay, get ready guys. Three, Two, one. I would like to see plenty of push-ups over here. And I am watching you as well. Don't think I'm not watching you. I got my eyes on each one of you. So keep going. Exhale. Can you speed that up a little bit more now? Because you just have last five seconds. A little bit more. You got this. And release it. Relax. Lie down. Superman up and down. Give me two extra reps in this one. Engaging the hip muscles. Start in three, two, one and go. Come on guys. So feel that the belly is pressed down by engaging the hip muscles as much as you can. Lift your hands high. Fantastic work. Shrita is really lifting her legs high, hands high and she's really killing it. Great work guys. Brilliant job and release it. Last one lots of push-ups i want to see how many 10 okay come on 20 seconds 10 push-ups go go fantastic now if you finish 10 don't stop okay when i tell you to stop you stop so keep going keep going let that 10 go to 12 15 20 but don't stop because you still have about six more seconds fantastic work guys brilliant work look at both of them killing it and release that Wonderful, wonderful. Lie down. Great job. So warmed up guys, ready for the next five rounds of Tabata? Come on, start. Go. So this exercise is a wonderful exercise to strengthen your lower back and your hip muscles. So if you feel that pain in your lower back or feel that weak feeling, this is your buddy, all right? So make this your friend and spend time with this every day, two to three times and release it relax so by the time they are resting and you are resting watch your tabata combo number two you have prone pull downs now this is wonderful workout for your shoulders and a good rehab as well what you will be doing is come into your w position hands up you can get your forehead down or lift it up your wish and then release it and pull back release and pull back really imagine something super heavy and pull as much as possible all right next one 
I love this exercise because I'm not a big fan of running, but this makes me feel like a runner. That that is lunge runner. So what you do is you come into your lunge position, 90, 90, and you really move your arms as fast as possible. All right, you got to run that 100 meters in 20 seconds. Okay, that's a lot. Come on, ready? Lie down on your stomach. Four rounds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds break. You get started now. Come on. So once again, engage the hip muscles. Press your toenails into the floor tightly. Push it down. Fantastic. Now it's really heavy. It's not something light. Imagine 20 kgs in each hand and you're pulling it. For Rajan, he will be imagining 40 kgs. That's different. And release. Come out of it into your lunge position quickly into the lunge position and you get started in three two one swing those arms make bigger movements you're sprinting i want to see that sprint now if you want to scale down the movement you can come a little higher and not be into a deep lunge fantastic job guys come on speed that up five seconds move faster three two one remember the leg you lunged forward with you will switch that leg in next round Drop down into prone pull downs. Come on, you get started now. Go. So every time you're pulling that really heavy dumbbell on each hand. So for you, for me, it is 20, 20 kgs. For Rajan, it is 40, 40 kgs. So we are pulling it. And every time you pull, it is exhaling at that point. Okay. And you release it. Come up. Remember guys, switch legs. So whichever leg was behind, that leg comes forward. Come into your lunge position and you get started now. Yes, make that movement big, make that movement fast. You're really sprinting. Like I told you, if you are just beginning with your fitness journey or your knee is feeling a little off today, that's what you can do. Not lunging all the way down, but if you are an advanced athlete, you stay right here and release it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Come on, drop down. And get started now. Move it. So remember to extend the hand as well. Don't neglect that. You have to really push your hand towards the wall in front of you because only when you push it, you begin to lengthen with your spine and with your lat muscles. Three seconds, two, and one, release it. Switch leg back to your first leg, which was in front. Come on, drop down and you get started in three, two, one. Faster guys, faster, faster, faster. Chest up, eyes on your target, that finish line and keep moving really fast. Make those movements faster. Come on, lunge a little more lower. Remember to keep the heels pressed into the floor. Move it, move it. Three, don't stop, two, and one, release it. Fantastic work, guys. Brilliant work. One more round. Come on. Drop down. And lift. Come on. The weight has become heavier. And now you have to imagine that somebody is pulling that weight away from you. So you pull the weight and then somebody pushes the weight so you can really feel the arms and the elbows, your back getting lengthened and taller. Three two one release switch leg and your last round for today ready guys go for it come on that finish line eyes on the target all the time and you're really sprinting it has to be fast keep your front foot heel pressed into the floor because that's where you get your balance from almost done don't stop now five seconds are you with me as well come on I am right here watching you and release it. Brilliant job, guys. That was a good workout. Great one. So with that, we finish with our Tabata round number two. Take a break and I will explain your third combo. You have high plank to low plank. So that means shoulders above the wrist come into your plank position. From palms, you drop down to being on the elbow and then lift up again on the palms. What I don't want to see over here is this hip movement. 
all right because if you keep swaying your hip from one side to the other then that's not working for you got to really keep those hips square so if you want to scale the movement down you think your hips are dwindling too much drop down on the knees and drop and up clear i'll give you a little tip over here if you don't want your hips to move from one side to the other press your toes into the floor firmly and you will not move clear got that tip try and engage that your next movement is hollow hold that means your lower back is pressed into the floor throughout start by being in tuck in position if this feels comfortable extend the legs toes pointed out and if this feels comfortable extend the arms as well but lower back pressed into the floor got your break ready let's get started high plank to low plank so choose your variation we start in 3 2 1 and go now so come on so remember like i told you press your toenails into the floor keep going you don't have to worry about your speed i just want the hips to be running parallel to the floor all the time 3 2 1 release it turn around lie down on your back into your hollow hold position you start in 3 2 and 1 come on go perfect so i want to see the lower back press into the floor clear fantastic fantastic now guys if extending your hands can be challenging you can rest behind so that it gives your head a little support and focus on crunching in Keep breathing and you release now turn around high plank to low plank Get ready in 3 2 1 start now Now remember when I told you to press your toes into the floor that doesn't mean that you press your knees into the floor if you're doing the scale down version okay you got to keep your palms pressed into the floor so that the knees are not taking that much pressure Come on in 3 2 and 1 fantastic guys what brilliant form they are giving me and it is so nice to see the hips being square to the floor up hollow hold come on start stay there so try and catch the wall behind with your hands really extend the arms and then your wall to the front with your feet press the lower back down crunch in Keep breathing don't hold on to your breath and you release now brilliant turn around so guys can i get one extra rep get ready now start come on control the movement keep your limbs pressed into the floor that is a very important technique whether you're regularly standing or you're working out whichever part of your body is in contact with the floor push the floor down with that part and you will see great results but not the joints okay no knees no elbows press down and release come out of it turn around hollow hold you start now come on tuck in tuck in can all of you get your feet together press the feet press the heels against each other or the inside of your feet come on keep breathing doing fabulous if you want to scale it down be with shrihita she is showing great movement over here and release it last one guys last one come on you got this and start now brilliant fantastic excellent job guys beautiful form great great work are you with us Come on, ten more seconds. Keep moving. Five more seconds. Go, go, go! Don't stop. Three, two, and one. Release it. Turn around. How about if I tell you that all this was just warm up? <laughs> Come on, start. Yeah, maybe you can take it like that. That all this was just preparing the mind and body for something that's going to come in the bath of four, five, and six. So stay excited. Be happy that it was just the warm up, and you'll be beginning with your session in three seconds. Two, one, release it. Fantastic, guys. So warmed up. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great job. So let's get started with our Tabata round number four. You have pike push-ups. Now, watch this. Pike, plank, from here, walk forward as much as you can and lift yourself up on the tip of your toes. Tuck the elbows in. Now drop down and press up. From there, drop down and press up. Clear? My scale down athletes, what you can do is, if you don't feel like bending the elbows, just come up on the tip of your toes, push the floor down and stay right here into the pike hold. Clear? Next one is kick throughs. For kick throughs, remember the beast position we did in the warm up. You don't lift your hands off the floor. All you're going to do is kick, back, kick and back. Now, if you don't want to kick, you just twist, focus on and try to sit down on the floor and then again try to sit down on the floor and back again. Okay? Clear guys? Something new maybe bike push-ups. So see how best you can perform today. Four rounds. Let's get started in three, two, one. Come into your pike position on the tip of your toes and get started with your push-up or just the hold. Now, if you're holding, remember the hip should really go high up towards the ceiling and your chest coming closer to the knees. Stay there. Three. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And release it into your beast position. Don't lift your knees up, but go into the beast position and you have kick throughs in three, two, one, and go. Start. So really engaging the abdominal muscles over here, especially your obliques, okay? Because I'm not allowing you to lift your hand off the floor. So just focus on sitting down as much as possible or kicking through. Of course, the weight will release on one hand, but you don't have to lift it all the time and release it. So now that you're aware of the movement, three rounds, let's begin now. Pike push-ups, go. Come up on the tip of your toes. Yes, lift your hip as high as possible. So pike generally works like a tricep push-up. So if you think that you don't want to hold the pike, you can also do tricep push-ups in the round number three and four. Keep going and release it. Fantastic work. Kick throughs, keep the knees very, very close to the floor. Set, start in three, two, one, now, go, come on. Yes, so try not to lift your hand, try to keep your hand in contact, of course the weight will reduce, but try and twist as much as possible so that you're really working on the obliques. Keep going, fantastic, great control and release it. Two more move, two more rounds. Okay, so Shrita, if you want, tricep push-ups. Get ready now. Come on. If you're doing the tricep push-ups, your elbows are tucked in and your hands are as close as you can get to each other. Brilliant. I am really, really loving this. Are you enjoying this? Are you all with me over here? And release it. Kick throughs. Come on. Drop down. Get ready. In three, two, one. Now. Come on. Try and kick as much as possible. Or try and get deeper with your hip as much as possible. When I say deeper, drop the hip down towards the floor, but not touching the floor. Knees are just off the floor. They're literally just moving around, swinging around at the same spot. And release it. Last one, guys. How are you feeling? Okay. Yes, shake those arms out and get ready in three, two, one. Get started now. Come on. Drop. So keep your elbows tucked in, whether you are in the pike or in the tricep push-up. It's the same thing. Remember, the movement is only by bending your elbows and not by any other part of the body. So bend the elbow and extend the elbows completely and release it. Come out. Kick throughs. Come on. Ready? Let's finish this. In three, two, one. Speed up the movement. Yes, be very gentle with the body. Do not jerk it. 
and focus on sitting as close as you can to the floor. Knees also remain as close as it can to the floor. Keep going. I am watching you as well. Don't think I have not kept my eyes on you. And we stop in three, two, one, and release it. Fantastic job, guys. This was indeed a tough one, and all of you did a great job over there. Second last round of the bata. Your movement one, simple. Jumping jacks, all right? When you do jumping jacks, really focus on swinging those arms. Scale down option, you can be right here, okay? And then kneeling pulse push up. So that means, once again, chest in between your palms, knees down, and you go down halfway and you just keep pulsing right here, okay? You don't come up. You keep pulsing right there for 30 seconds, okay? Heart rate is going to go really high, so make sure you're focusing on your breath and get it in control. Ready? Are you ready? We start in three, two, one, go now. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Loosen out your muscles with jumping jacks. All the lactic acid formed should be released as you keep mobilizing the arms and the legs through these jumps. Keep going. Don't forget to exhale. We stop in three seconds, two seconds, and one. Release it. Kneeling, pulse push up. So do not come up. Just drop down halfway and get started now. Come on. Lovely, lovely. Make sure your eyes are slightly towards the front of your mat and not looking behind. Keep going. Engage your entire body, though it's just the elbows doing the work, you think. But if you engage the whole body, it becomes easy. And release it. Nice work. Got the hang of it? Three more rounds. Let's get started in three, two, and one. Now, go. Come on. Yeah. Fantastic. So remember that you have to really move those arms, mobilize your shoulders so that all the lactic acid formed due to those repetitive push-ups and so many other shoulder movements, they will feel good. And three, two, one, release it. Yes, kneeling, pulse, push-ups. Come on. Ready? Three, two, one. Done, guys. Done. This is your last serious workout because Tabata 6 I have a surprise for all of you you'll be surprised come on keep going keep going keep going come on come on come on go 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 don't stop now don't stop three and two and one release it lovely lovely great work all I want is some more numbers in your jumping jacks get started now come on Make that faster and give me maybe one or two reps extra from what you did in round one and round two. Great, great. Nice work. Land soft. Don't be hard on your sole of the feet. And release it. Pulse push-ups. Finishing, guys. Promise. This is the last strength-based workout. And after that, I'm going to have lots of fun. I don't know about you all. Come on. Let's get started now. Great work. Yes, fantastic. You can see how Srihita has increased the number of pulse and Rajan has gone up on his toes. Fantastic work. Keep exhaling, doing wonderful. You got three more seconds. Two and one. Release it. Come on. Last one. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Jumping jacks. Now. Speed that up. Max reps. Keep exhaling. Yes, that's awesome. Wonderful. 10 more seconds. Don't stop now. Land soft. Move those arms. Keep your knees soft. Don't lock them. Three and two and one. Release. Last one. Last push up. Come on, go. Three seconds. Two seconds. And go, 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 go. Come on. Come on, guys, move it, move it, move it. Fantastic work, fantastic work. Are you with them? Are you with them? Giving more challenge to them. Come on, challenge them, challenge your coaches. They love it when they see their members really killing it and challenging. And 
and you can stop now. Fantastic job. Fantastic. Okay. It's time for me to have fun because I'm the coach who is just talking all the time. <laughs> what is there? In Tabata 6, you have burpees. So that is no longer four rounds. It's eight rounds. 20 seconds of burpees, 10 seconds break. 20 seconds of burpees, 10 seconds break. So for new athletes, what does a burpee look like? This is a burpee. Okay, if you don't want to step, uh, jump, you can just step back, step forward. Now, if you're really, really new, say this is your first week of working out, you don't have to go back. You can go into your sprawl, plank position, step forward and extend the arms up. Okay, so that's not for her. Though. Only for the members who are starting today, starting this week. Okay, uh, otherwise you're going to jump or you're going to step. Stand up tall when your hands go up. Ready? Eight rounds, 20 seconds, eight rounds. Get started now. Come on. Nice. Very nice. So max rep burpee. Now I think I'm going to set a target for them from round two onwards. Great. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I am looking at 10 burpees as your bare minimum. And release it. Relax. How many you did, Rajiv? Ten. How many you did? Six or seven. Eleven and seven. What about you? One rep extra from what you just did. Start. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I need to see that one extra rep. And I am watching you as well. That one extra rep. You got this. They have got this. I have also got this. Come on. Let's go and stop now stop got that got that kind of thing okay let's try and maintain the same target for round number three go now start come on so guys as you're moving forward the heart rate is just gonna go higher all right so it's very important that you learn to control your heart rate with your breath exhale don't hold the breath keep going three seconds Two seconds and one. Release it. Fantastic. So where are you guys? Eight. Okay. Let's try and get nine and seven. Come on. Go. Start. Come on. So guys, it's perfectly okay. Because it's a back-to-back -back repetitive movement, it's okay for the reps to fluctuate. But our target is always going to be to do one extra rep from a previous round. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't stop now, don't stop now. And release it. Relax. We are halfway through. We are halfway through. We're just halfway more. And get started now. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on. Get going. Brilliant work. Brilliant work. Move it, guys. Move it, move it. You got 10 more seconds. Only 10 more seconds. Not even 10 now. It's five. Two reps. Two reps. It's just one second. And release it. Fantastic. Great work, guys. Last three rounds. Control the heart with your breath. And start now. Go. Come on. So this is a beautiful exercise to build in that stamina, that endurance, all right? It's fantastic. The wonder is that this burpee movement, which is not very light, can do to us. Keep going. A full body workout and release it. Guys, three minutes work done. Last one minute is left. Are you with me? Yes? Go, go, go. Come on. Get going. Brilliant work. Brilliant work. Move it, guys. Move it. Move it. You've got 10 more seconds. Only 10 more seconds. Not even 10 now. It's five. Two reps. Two reps. It's just one second. And release it. Fantastic. Great work, guys. Come on. Let's get started now. Go. So, guys, it's perfectly okay. Because it's a back-to-back -back repetitive movement, it's okay for the reps to fluctuate. But our target is always going to be to do one extra rep from a previous round. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't stop now, don't stop now. And release it. Relax. 
So let's get started with our stretching for today. Your first movement for today is thread the needle. So like the beast position, you come over here, hip above the knee, you don't sit back. Rotate, so twist and glide your hand. I'm going to show you with the other hand, glide your hand till the shoulder rests on the floor and look up at the ceiling. Clear? 40 seconds on each side. Come on. Beast position, hip above the knee and stay right there. Yes. So don't go back in child's pose. That's not what we need over here. The hip is right above the knee. Great. Focus on looking at your, at the ceiling so that the neck is also getting a good stretch. And this is the time where once again you're being very conscious of the way you're breathing. The way you're breathing and for how many seconds you're exhaling. Alright, so just focus on increasing the exhalation with no external pressure. You just have last 5 seconds and slowly switch side. Now as you are doing a stretch and you're really focusing on the breath, just close your eyes and let your body move or do what it has to do. Usually the mind keeps disturbing it. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do it, blah, blah, blah. Just let it be. For a change, let the body do its work. So just close your eyes and relax and you will see your body automatically getting a deeper stretch without any extra effort. You have five more seconds and release it. Your next movement is going to be puppy pose. So, Shrihita, can you just show us the puppy pose where once again the hips are above the knee and then you walk forward with your hands as much as possible, really trying to glide your chest down. Beautiful. Just look at that range. Come on. Start with your stretch now. Fantastic. Fantastic. You know, it is such a brilliant treat to eyes when you see such great strength coaches who can lift heavy with amazing flexibility. For me, it's a very, very appreciable thing, you know, where I see my strength coaches going deep into the stretches because that shows the quality of their training. You know, that shows the amount of respect they have for their workout, for their body. So remember, do not miss your stretching sessions, do not miss your cool downs. Three more seconds and release it. Come out of it. Wonderful guys. Lovely stretch. Lie down on your back. Hands opened out for your twist, spinal twist. Bring both your knees on the chest and drop both your knees towards any one side. Now lift your head and look in the opposite direction. Much needed for today because you did so much work with your back it is important that you learn to release it. However, this stretch is among those stretches which can be done at any point during the day, any number of times. So just release the shoulders, the back of your shoulders freely on the floor and don't try and press your feet against each other. Just let it be. Relax it. Feel free to close your eyes and focus on long deep breath. and slowly switch legs towards the other side. Drop your legs towards the other side and then lift your head and look in the opposite direction. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears so that you have a long neck and your chin is coming closer to the collarbone and not moving away from the collarbone. Relax your feet, relax your legs. You don't have to hold them too tight. Great work guys, today's session was not among the easy ones. A lot of work for the shoulders and I genuinely feel each one of you have done a fabulous work. So 10 more seconds, stay right there. Three, two and one, release it, come out of it. All of you just be down on the knees. You can 
either just stay on the knees and stretch your shoulder like this or what you can also do is just drop your heels on your hips on the heels and glide one hand once again for the shoulder stretch anything i leave it on you whatever you want to choose for today get started now with your stretch 20 seconds on each side so like you can see let your chest face the floor yes chest facing the floor don't open the chest towards the side perfect can you push your palm facing out and that will help you to stretch more three seconds two and one release it when you're doing the shoulder stretch the way Srihita is doing that means you're not doing thread the needle the hips are on the heels last 15 seconds for today before we finish with today's session that was fantastic I truly enjoyed it five seconds three two and release it lovely work guys great job done over there fantastic that was fantastic did you guys have fun yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> that says it all. I hope you all are feeling the same. We had a lot of fun too. So guys, now I mentioned in between the class that great quality of your muscle is much needed to make sure your workouts can be sustainable and they can be with you as a part of your lifestyle for forever. Okay, so make sure that your workouts are balanced when you do strength training, don't forget to stretch and do your cardio because you need that heart conditioning and you need that length of the muscles. Agree with me? Yeah? Brilliant. So on that note, we are going to sign off for today. Don't forget to check your score and we will see you super soon. See you guys. Yeah? Bye-bye. Thank you very much and take care. See you. For more workout videos, download the Cult Fit app now. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, We Are Cult.